Hey guys, it's Taya and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video all about talking about my accomplishments, about facing my fears with talking and with social situations. Now, as probably most of you know or experience, what, what, when you have a stutter, it can really be closely related to social anxiety. And that's not saying that social anxiety causes the stutter or the other way around, but it's just something that coexists with the other on a normal basis. So for me, especially being in this time where everything is closed or we're not going out in public as much, I'm really becoming grateful and pr pr praising m myself for the smaller things that, that, that I accomplish with my talking. So obviously for the first month or so, I was really not go going out at all. And now that th things are starting to open up again, it's starting to happen where I'm gonna have to talk, talk more and ask questions and stuff to people on a regular basis. So I just wanted to go through the past six months, I guess, and talk about my accomplishments, whether it was a small thing or a big thing. So basically for this video, I'll challenge you to write down something in the comments that you have accomplished or achieved with your stuttering or social situations. And that can be a tiny thing or it can be a big thing. Oftentimes I feel like we're too focused on the negative and what we didn't do and how we could have reacted or what we could have said, but I think it's super important to, fo to focus on what we've accomplished and what we have done. So I'm going to talk about that. And I would also like to mention that I'm actually selling prints that I made by myself and I'm selling them on an Etsy shop called in the stars. So I will put a link to that in the description. Here are a few examples of the prints and I actually put one up in my bathroom and I love it so that that's why I thought of ma making an Etsy shop and I'll definitely be making more in the future. So my first accomplishment, although it is a tiny one, is, is placing orders at a fast food drive through and I feel like for most people, the, the drive-through is such a scary situation. And the other day, I, I placed an order, and I asked a question, and I changed the order. It's like, whoa, I did that all by myself, and I did it fluently. Like, what? I was so excited afterwards. So basically on the way there, I was thinking about how this isn't a big deal. I'm going to a fast food place um, and I can say these words perfectly. It won't be an issue and I'll be fine. And then I did it. It's like so weird because the, the power of the mind is such a powerful thing that our mindset toward a situation is so important and yeah, so that was my first accomplishment. I only did that like maybe a week ago, but I'm still excited about it. Okay, so my next accomplishment is talking on the phone to customer service. Now, I know that this is something that I'll probably have to do for the rest of my life and that many people do all the time. And if that is your job, like, wow, that <laughs> seems like a tough job, especially with somebody who would have telephone anxiety like me. So the telephone is like such a scary situation for me because the only thing that they can hear on the other side is my voice. So it's like there's nothing to distract them from when I stutter. So basically a few weeks ago, I had to call the bank to resolve an issue. And basically what I did while I was on hold for a long time, I was just going over in my head like, okay, well, I have to call the bank whether or not I have a stutter and whether or not I have anxiety that this is something I'll have to do for the rest of my life. And the person on the other side of the phone is there to solve my problem. So whether I mess up or not, they are there to solve the problem. And they probably don't care about if I stumble on a word or two. Yeah, I remember that 
phone call went relatively well. It didn't go perfect, but that's okay. I got my pr problem solved and that's all that matters. And so I would say that that's an accomplishment because I was facing my fear. And I know that if I avoid my fear, then it only gets worse and worse. So yeah, I think that was an accomplishment because it was something that I did and kept on reassuring my myself that I could do, even though I was very afraid. So one habit that is super easy to get into is saying hurtful things to yourself after you stutter or mess up in public. I have realized that doing this it doesn't have any positives to myself, my mental health, or to the stutter. It usually only makes them worse. A few months ago, I went to get my computer fixed at a shop, and they asked me what my, what my name was to put it on the receipt. And I'm usually okay with saying my, my, my name, um, but then they asked me to spell it out. And that's when my mind started to spin. I have a lot of trouble with words that I know I can't change. Because if, I'm, if I know I'm going to get stuck on it, then my brain will automatically change the word or think of a way to escape it. But with things I can't change, like spelling out my, my name, my mind started to get so anxious. And I stuttered and I stumbled through it. But I did it, and they ended up spelling my name r wrong, but that's okay. Afterwards, I realized that I shouldn't beat myself up for it. We all have our ups and downs, and this was, ju was just a moment that was not the perfect fluency, but that's okay. And because of these experiences, I know things that, that I need to work on, and that is uh, vowel sounds, words that I can't change, and spelling out things. So although it might have felt a little bit uncomfortable in the moment, it, it has strengthened my mentality and my resistance towards these types of situations in the future. So in the past six months, I have gone to three different job interviews. So basically, I transitioned from a job that I was getting comfortable with, with to a new job with new people and in a new place, which is pretty intimidating and scary to say the least. So I've made entire videos about my job interview experience and I'll leave those linked below. But within the past few months, um, with those three in particular, they didn't go as well as I wanted them to. I definitely was under some stress, so I stuttered a bunch, and it didn't go perfectly well. But I feel like it really has to do with a presentation of yourself and the answers to the questions. So I'm very proud of myself that I put myself out there and faced my, my fear of this to get myself where I am now. So I'm very grateful to where I am now with a job that suits me better. And I was very blessed to have been offered those three jobs despite having the stutter and having the job interviews not going as perfect as I wanted that them too so this kind of shows that a lot of times we are very hard on ourselves and and we do a lot better than we think that 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 we do So one thing that I was very n nervous about about trying online d dating was the fact that they base their decision to talk to you off of your looks and the little information that they know about, about you on your page. Basically, my worst fear was that when they found out that I had a stutter and I have anxiety and stuff, that they wouldn't want to deal with that. Um, and that is kind of still a fear to this day, but since I started using a dating apps a while ago, I had gone on quite a few d dates and interestingly, my stutter was better with, with some people and worse with others. And I think that this was kind of a blessing in disguise because it showed me who I was really comfortable around and it showed me who respected me enough to put that aspect aside. Throughout my experience, I had never had anybody be rude about it, at least that I know of. 
and it kind of gave me a sense of whether they had respect for people like me by the way they, they reacted and tre treated me when I spoke. Now although having the stutter has put me into some uncomfortable situations on dates where I couldn't speak at all, well I could but it was very very d difficult, it has showed me that there are hidden blessings about it that I didn't know before and I'm proud of that I put myself out there to, to go on dates despite, despite having this anxiety anxiety about it. So make sure to leave in the comments what you have accomplished in the past year or six months and maybe it'll give some inspiration to somebody who's reading the comments. And also make sure to check out my Etsy store in the description below and I think that's about it. I hope you are all having a wonderful day and I will see you all very very soon. Bye!